Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of machine design one. We are right now working on a design numerical of bush pin type coupling which is also a flexible coupling. In the last, last session we have figured out some of the dimensions, we have found out the torque to be transmitted and then we selected a standard coupling with the some standard selection. So in this session we are going to prove that those selections are safe and other selection based on this particular thing we are going to make. So let's begin. So let us begin with the checking of the stresses induced in various parts. Very first thing we are going to start with the shear stress in the shaft. So we know that the torque that is to be transmitted is Newton mm. I figured out this in the very first slide. Now here we have replaced the uh, given formula with the help of the given alphabetical names. So the actual formula is you can say it is T or MT basically is given by pi by 16 in the tau into now in this case it is going to be induced that's why let us subsec I and this is nothing but the diameter shaft diameter. So the value that we have is 99471.6 is equal to pi by 16 into the induced value is of course unknown value into diameter of shaft that we have figured out is 45 millimeter cube. Upon solving this will get the induced value is equal to somewhere around 5.559 Newton per millimeter square. So as we compare this value with the induced value it is going to be safe because the value that is allowable is 37.5 we can say that shaft is safe. Let's move ahead. The next thing is the selection of key. Now from PhD data book referring to the section of keys length component, breadth component, height component for diameter of shaft 45 millimeter let's select B is equal to 14 and H is equal to 9 millimeter which are the standard relations. Thereafter we have to figure out the length. Now we know that the key may fail under shear or it may fail under crushing. So for shear let's consider MT is equal to in this case it is going to be the tau value the allowable tau value into diameter by 2 so which is equal to 45 by 2. We'll substitute the rest of the values. The value of B that we have figured out is 14. The length is unknown. The value of shear allowable is 37.5 into 45 by 2. Upon solving we will get some length of key of course in millimeter. In parallel we will do this for the crushing. For crushing we know that the torque that is to be transmitted is given in terms of length into h by 2 into sigma c crushing of course which is induced which is the allowable value into diameter divided by 2. Let's substitute the values. The allowable value for crushing is 105 45 by 2. This also will leave as a value of length of key in millimeter. Let's solve it and get the value. If you compare both the values, we have to go for the largest value. Now we can see it's not a preferred value and therefore let length be equal to 10 millimeter. Therefore your final C selected key is 14 by 9 by 10 millimeter. So this was about the key selection. The next thing we are going to look it about the hub. Now again you will find a standard formula for the hub where it fails under the torsion. Now in this case tau we have to find out for the induced value. 
let's substitute the value you have to figure out the unknown value of tau now here we have made a small change outer diameter minus the inner diameter by outer diameter in this case will be the diameter of hub diameter of shaft and diameter of hub so we have represented them using the letters c a and c as we substitute the values we get 55 to 4 minus 45 to 4 divided by 55 and therefore as we solve this expression we will get the value of tau induce somewhere equal to 5.517 newton per millimeter square now as comparing with the allowable value we know that the induced value is smaller than the allowable value and therefore because the allowable value is somewhere equal to 25 newton per millimeter square therefore hub is also safe let's move ahead for the bolts now we know that bolts will fail under two conditions one in failure in shear and second is failure in crushing so let's start with the failure in shear we know that this is the standard formula which is available on the phd data book which says that the torque transmitted is given by this particular formula therefore let's substitute the values to h by 2 the value of h that we have figured out is 12 by 2 where fb is the total force acting on number of bolts so force on four bolts of course the shear force we are talking about as you solve this expression we will get the value of fb somewhere equal to 12.2 newton let's move ahead with the maximum moment that is possible with this particular expression where these are the indications of the formula that we are using so as we saw it we'll get the value of maximum moment somewhere equal to millimeter newton millimeter we also know that a standard formula for the maximum principal stress which we consider for bolts is this formula so and we know that the bending stress will be given by this particular formula as substitute the values the f value is 15 and therefore sigma b value is equal to newton per millimeter square after substituting these values back in this equation we get sigma 1 somewhere equal to 53.5 newton per millimeter square now this is just one criteria that we have considered failure of the bolts as we compare this value maximum principal stress value it is safe in both compression as well as in tension and hence i can say that bolt is safe let me make a bracket here it's a secondary calculation that is supporting this particular main calculation let's move ahead to the flange where this is the particular formula expression in terms of the alphabetical order this is no doubt is empty as we substitute back this equation values we get the induced tau is equal to somewhere equal to 1.4 newton per millimeter square so as we compare this value with the allowable value we get the flange is safe so considering the shear failure of the flange due to the force we have found that flange is safe let's move to the last component where we have considered the pin now we know that the bearing force on the pin for safety we have to consider we already know that the force is going to be n which is 2 in our case 2 newton per millimeter square this is basically the pressure the force that we have found out is somewhere around newton rest of the dimensions of course this is what the induced value we need to figure out so let us keep it uh, unknown for some time 
so after substituting rest of the values which is the pin diameter and all i'll write these components in terms of the given factors only substituting the value we get that pb is somewhere around 1 newton per millimeter square now since the pb that we have considered is 2 i can say that pb induced is much much smaller than the allowable value of pb and hence i can say that pin is also safe in bearing so there we have done the safety checking across all the parameters which were selected so the conclusion is the selected bearing based on the given conditions and the material properties is safe the selected coupling is safe in this conditions so there we end with the numerical let me quickly revise what we have done we have selected the material properties first based on which we have selected a prime mover based on which we have selected the flexible coupling which is a bush pin type coupling at the end we selected the standard parameters of this coupling and there we figured out whether all those parameters are safe or not so that was from my side this time there we end with the module number five in the next section we will be dealing with the module number six where we will be learning about the design of various springs thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to ikeda thank you